Hello and welcome to this evening yoga class that will help you unwind at the end of a long day. And so when you're ready, join me on your yoga mat. Take a comfortable seat, hands on your knees, shoulders back and down, chin to your chest and gently close your eyes. We're going to bring our attention to the breath. So we're going to focus on every inhale and on every exhale. We're going to try to inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Again, inhale through the nose, keep your belly engaged and exhale through the nose. So keep your attention on the breath. It's going to help guide us throughout the rest of our practice today. So it's always a nice way to start off our practice. Now gently open your eyes. Okay. So on an exhale, we're going to turn our head to the right. We're going to inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, head to the center. And exhale, turn your head to the left. Inhale here. Exhale. And inhale, bring your head to the center. Again, exhale, turn to the right, inhale here, exhale, inhale to the center and exhale to the left, inhale here, exhale and inhale to the center. And now what we're going to do is on an exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Now you might want to reposition your head, just figure out what stretch feels the best for you. And then inhale to the center and exhale the same on the other side. Inhale to the center and now exhale right ear comes to the right shoulder. We're going to bring the head forward and to the left and then forward and to the right. Again, forward to the left and forward and to the right. Forward to the left and forward to the right. Now bring your head to the center. We're going to bring our shoulders up towards our ears and exhale, release. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And now bring your right arm up you can either hold with your left hand onto your right elbow or bring your left hand behind, especially if you can clasp your fingers. And what we're going to try to do is bring your head up. So try to look up, even if you've got your eyes closed and bring your head slightly back. Okay, same on the other side. Left hand comes behind. You can either hold onto your left elbow with your right hand or bring your right hand behind. Again, try to look up and bring your head back. Belly engaged. And exhale, hands come down. Now you can circle the shoulders, do a few back the way, do a few on the front. Okay, and what we're going to do now is come into eagle pose. So bring your right elbow over your left elbow and bring your hands in prayer pose. You can either hold on to your shoulder blades if that's too hard. And we're going to stay here for three breaths. For one, two, 
and three. Okay, same on the other side. So left elbow goes on top. Three breaths here for one, two, and three. And again, release. Now you can circle the shoulders again. Just bring a bit of movement back to your shoulders. Okay, and from here, we're going to bring our right hand next to us to the floor. Bring your left arm up. Walk the right hand away. Feel a really nice stretch in all of your left side body. And see if you can increase this feeling, this stretch with every inhale. Okay, and now inhale, come to the center and same on the other side and feel this beautiful stretch on all of your right side body. And now come to the center. Okay, bring your soles of your feet together. Hold on to your feet and try to sit up nice and straight. Shoulders back and down. You can close your eyes here. Just take a few moments. Okay, so now what we're going to do is what we did before. So right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Walk the right hand away. Feel the stretch in all of your left side body. And now allow both hands to come forward. Left hand comes on the floor. Right arm stretches up and come to the center. Same on the other side. Left hand walks away, right hand comes overhead, stretch both hands forward, right hand is on the floor, left hand is up and come to the center. Same again, right hand comes down, right hand walks away, feel the stretch in all of your left side body, both hands come forward, left hand is on the floor and come to the center. And same on the other side, walk the left hand away, and now both hands come in front, right hand is on the floor again, and come to the center. Okay, now that we stretched out all of the, our side body, let's now lie on the floor. Okay, lie on the floor, soles of your feet on your mat. If you want, you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Let's take a few moments here just to tune into our breath. And from here, we're going to synchronize breath with movement. So inhale, hips come up and exhale, hips come down. Again, inhale, hips come up and exhale, hips come down. Again, inhale, hips come up and exhale, we go down. Inhale. Okay, and now we bring our arms overhead on an inhale and on an exhale, hands come next to us. Inhale, hands come up and exhale, hands come down. Inhale, hands come up and exhale, hands come down. Inhale, up, and exhale. And now we're going to synchronize those two movements. So inhale, hips come up, hands come up. Exhale, hips go down, hands go down. Inhale, hips come up, hands go overhead. And exhale, hips go down, hands to your side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Okay, now bring your knees to your chest. Give your legs a little hug. You can roll from side to side if you want, just to give your lower back a little massage. And now bend your left foot, bring it flex over your right knee. So what we're going to do now is hold either behind your right knee or in front, interlace your fingers to feel a really nice stretch on your left hip. 
So bring your right leg in as much as feels comfortable for you. Try to break, keep your shoulders back and down. Okay, and same on the other side. So hold on behind or in front of your left knee. Feel the stretch on your right hip. This is particularly nice if you've been sitting for many hours. And exhale, slowly release. Okay, now bring your right knee over your left. Bring your hands on shoulder height on the floor. And we're going to twist to the left. So bring your knees to the floor to the left and turn your head to the right. You can encourage this stretch by bringing your left hand on top of your knees. Just make sure you're working to wherever is right for you. Inhale to the center. Okay, switch the legs. Bring your left leg over the right and turn to the right. And again, if you want, you can bring your right hand over your knees to encourage this stretch if that feels right for you. A few breaths here. And slowly come to the center. Inhale, come up. And what we can do is we can roll back. So inhale, come up. Exhale back and this is a really nice massage for all of the spine and then from here we're going to come into downward facing dog. So come into your downward facing dog. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. You can bend your knees if that feels right for you. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears and from here on an inhale let's come into plank pose. So from plank pose try to push the floor away you can keep your shoulders over your wrists. You can keep your knees on the floor or not. And then slowly lower down. So lower down and what we're going to do is try to bring your elbows under your shoulders or just in front. This is a really nice stretch or a really nice pose for your lower back. So again, if you've been sitting a lot, this should feel really, really, really nice for your lower back. And from here, bring your right hand on the floor, bend the left foot, keep it flex, and bring the left hand inside of that left foot. Create a little resistance here. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. And again, twist as much as feels comfortable for you. And we'll do the same on the other side. So bend the right leg, flex the foot, and again, create a little resistance here. A few breaths here. And come to the center. Hands next to your chest. So inhale, come to Cobra, open up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, open up and exhale lower down. Now do the same or come into upward facing dog, shoulders back if you want look up and exhale we'll come into downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog inhale right foot steps forward, left knee on the floor, hands on your hips. You can bring your hands up if you want, shoulders down, belly engaged. A few breaths here. Okay, if you want now, bring your hands on the floor, keep them on the left side of your right leg. If you want, stay with your hands on the floor and if, it's feel co if it feels comfortable for you, bring your elbows on the floor. A few breaths here. Inhale, let's come into downward facing dog again. And let's do the same on the other side. So left foot steps, 
right knee on the floor, belly engaged. Let's bring our hands up, shoulders down, a few breaths here. Feel that stretch in front of your right hip. And again, if it feels comfortable for you, bring your hands down to the right of your left leg. Either stay with your palms on the floor or come all the way down with your elbows on the floor. And again, a few breaths here. And gently come up and let's go back to downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, let's find our pigeon pose. So bring your right foot forward. Make sure your hips are parallel with the floor. So try to keep the left hip down. And you can either stay up or bring your elbows down or slowly lie down. And again, find the stretch that is right for you. And let's take a few nice deep breaths here and feel that really nice opening in all of your right hip. Okay, inhale, slowly come up. Let's find our downward facing dog. And same on the other side. So left leg comes forward. Try to square the hips. Either stay upright if that feels comfortable for you or come down onto your elbows or if you want, bring your head to the floor. And again, we'll stay here for a few breaths. So feel that stretch on your left hip now. And remember, if any of these poses feels uncomfortable for you, you can come into child's pose or just take a seat. And let's come up and we'll go into plank pose. So push the floor away. Let's find a little strength here. Belly engaged. And exhale, let's lower down. Inhale, come up, cobra or upward facing dog. Remember, shoulders back. And exhale, downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, look forward. Take a seat and lie back and when we lie back we're going to bring our hands underneath our hips and let's bring the feet up now this is a gentle way to keep our feet up if you want you can keep your hands underneath your hips it just makes it a bit easier And from here, if you want, open up the legs to the side. You can bring your hands away and you can bring your hands over your legs just to increase this stretch if that feels right for you. And now let's bring our knees to the chest. Bring your left knee, keep your left knee in and straighten the right leg. Shoulders back and down. Feel this really nice stretch. And when you're ready, let's do the same on the other side. So bring your right leg in and straighten the left leg. Try to keep your shoulders back and down and chin to the chest. And you can keep your eyes closed here. And now bring both knees in. You can twist from side to side. Now bring your hands and feet up. Give your body a little shake. It sometimes feels really nice, especially at the end of a long day. And from here, bring 
your the soles of your feet together, allow your knees to open up. If you want, you can have your hands on your belly or bring your hands to your side, palms facing up, if that feels nicer for you. And let's take a few moments just to focus on the breath here. And from here, let's find our Shavasana. So straighten the legs. Let the right foot come to the right, the left fall to the left, palms facing up, shoulders back and down. And enjoy the silence. Enjoy this pose. It's considered to be of the most important poses that we do in any yoga class. And so especially as this is a practice, an evening practice for the end of the day. Let's try to stay here and really give our body time to relax and unwind. And so with every breath, allow your body to relax. A few more breaths here. And slowly wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring a little bit of movement back to the body. On the next inhale, bring your arms up overhead and stretch out the entire body. And from here, let's roll onto our side. Try to keep your eyes closed. A few breaths here. And inhale, slowly come back to a seated position. Bring your hands in front of heart center. Let's take a nice inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Again, inhale and exhale and when you're ready gently open your eyes and thank you for joining me for this class and i'll see you in the next class bye